monitoring and evaluation is critical to gauge the success of a project. m and &E assesses the fidelity of the project's activities to its theoretical framework, determines if a project achieved its intended outcomes, potential sustainability, and a variety of other uses depending on the data captured. An m and &E system is only as strong as the planning put into developing it. Not having a theory of change or a logic model, for example, hinders one from having a functional m and &E system that can provide learning opportunities for all. Other factors include not engaging key stakeholders at the onset of the project, not utilizing technology for real-time data collection efforts, not collecting the right data or having clear measurable indicators, not having project implementers that are comfortable with interpreting data. A culture of learning as part of an m and &E system begins at the onset of the project with clear leadership that supports the use of a strong m and &E system. As negative data carries a connotation of poor performance, it's imperative not to imply blame but support in areas where the project is weakest. Ideally, a real-time data collection system promotes frequent use of data collection, analysis, and reporting efforts where project course corrections can occur swiftly. Additionally, data dissemination to project staff and the general public externally promotes a culture of transparency and internally promotes a data-centered culture of learning. There's a plethora of ways in which one can engage partners, recipients, and the community at large for lessons learned, course corrections within the project, and advocacy. Qualitative and quantitative data are equally important to monitoring the success of a project. Presenting posters of statistical analysis and leading data walks can help guide attendees through the quantitative analysis conducted. Furthermore, presenting the findings of qualitative data, for example, surveys, key informant interviews, photo voice can encourage dialogue around lessons learned. Finally, to ensure accountability, forming community-centered committees guarantees ethical, fiscal, and programmatic needs are in order. m and &E findings should be presented intermittently, not just at the end of the project. Quarterly presentations of process, output, and some outcome indicators permit project implementers to make swift adjustments to the project when needed. Findings from output indicators measuring the fidelity of the project to its theory of change initial findings of the outcomes, and the effectiveness of conducting the project should be distributed to stakeholders frequently to pinpoint gaps in the project and to develop an immediate course of action. Evaluation findings and recommendations can be responded to in a few ways. Developing an action plan, publishing findings in a peer-reviewed journal, or Writing a manual based on the findings all ensure sustainability for future implementers of the project. This formal knowledge sharing solidifies a learning culture within the project. It's important to note, knowledge sharing is always preceded by community buy-in. Engaging with key stakeholders, making data findings easily accessible and legible, and providing frequent updates help to encourage knowledge sharing and learning opportunities. This is part of a series to develop competence in monitoring and evaluation produced by David Hurl from the PME Academy.